Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello, welcome, my name is Jasmine and it's time for all my viewers to get excited because we have a video that I hardly ever do. I have a tutorial with reviews. I never do either one, mostly because I don't have money to be purchasing new items as often as I would like to. And tutorials, I don't know. I just never thought that I would be good enough to do tutorials, but everybody does them, so why can't I? All right, so what we are going to be reviewing and showing you how to achieve a full place of it is the 2016 Sweet Sparkle subscription box. And this is a subscription box that gives you five full-size drugstore items every month for $25. Let that sink in a little bit. For $25 and their drugstore. But sometimes, sometimes they give you two extras that are also full size. I still think it's too pricey. I gotta say. Hopefully they change their prices later because Foxy Charm charges you $21 and they've been giving palettes that are $60 plus other items. Like they give you more than $100 worth of products for $21 bucks. and this is $25 and you probably get like $30 or $40 worth of items. I haven't checked. I should have. But I haven't checked, but you probably only get like $40 worth of items for $25. They should be charging like $15 for this box, in my opinion. But it is a new subscription box, so I wanted to try it. I think the October box might have been their second month. So I wanted to try it. We have, I have my cousins on over here. They look super horrible today. Like, I wish I didn't even do them at all. They do not match at all today, but they're on. I don't know, maybe it's just the shade of the brow pencil that I'm not liking anymore. But I'm going to go through and show you guys what we received in the box. And um, along with the review, I just did... I'm about to film a haul. But I need to use those products to, two of those products that I bought to film this video. So I, I'm kind of going to do a, a, like a first impression on two items as well. But that's just what you get. You get a little bonus of having a first impression as well. It's awesome. But the first thing that's in here is this blush by... Wet and Wild in the shade Apricot in the middle. Kathleen fans. <laughs> we have a eyeshadow, a 12 pack palette of eyeshadows from City Color. We have a lipstick by the brand Rude in the shade Swank. We have a highlighting. Highlighter Duo Pack by Nika K New York. I left the door open, which was a mistake. I left it like a crack open because the dog was out. Just need to mention that just in case you see a bunch of flies. I don't know. I, I don't know what's all going on with the flies. As soon as I open the door, they come in. And I hate it. But we have the Duo. So we have four things right there. We got a beauty blender, which I went. I stopped recording and went to go damp because I'm gonna need it damp to do this. So we're we're doing the intro again. And then we got this eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, by the brand Jordana. And last but not least, we got a Milani Runaway Lash Mascara. And then I am going to do another little bonus and review. The concealer that I got in my Ipsy bag by the Nude Stick. And yeah, so we got the eyebrows. The very bad eyebrows today are on already. And 
I was already recording while doing my eyebrows and then I was like I took 10 minutes doing them because they're not matching today at all so I was like I need to make a match a little bit so I was sitting there for 10 minutes stopped recording hit record realized that the beauty blender was not damp so hit unrecord again went to go damp it hit record again all right so just since I already did my eyebrows I am going to go in and I apparently where I don't know where my mirror my NYX mirror is it's not in here anymore the kids were in my makeup box yesterday in the night oh I found it I was gonna say so they probably got it but I found it okay good because then I don't have to use that humongous palette but I am just gonna apply the NYX base that was not in the box I'll tell you when an item is in, was included in the box but you guys already kind of saw an overview of everything in the box not kind of you did but I'm gonna just take that and place this all over my eyelid area everywhere that you put eyeshadow on basically like your whole eye just do out a, a white eye just do a whole white eye circle all over and I'm a little bit scared because I've done the concealer but not with powder to set it and I'm gonna do it today for the first time on camera hopefully I don't look like an idiot you probably should have bought in the press one as well instead of the one that you bake with just for this video for the sake of this video because I have a feeling I'm gonna mess up because I've never done it but okay so after you do that I am going to go ahead and leave it on there for a couple of minutes while I do the concealer I'm gonna go ahead and do the concealer because then I do the like the water the bottom lashes with eyeshadow forget that I do the concealer and have to go back in so do your concealer first and cover those dark circles and since I don't do foundation foundation I don't do like a humongous circle I just cover where it's black where I have my dark circles and that's it and I do do two coats of it just letting you know because I feel like one coat does not cover as much as I want it to cover so I do two coats I have the door open like I said for the puppy and he was just here and he left again. So I'm going to take the beauty blender that we received. And it is damp. It's damp already. But I'm just like blending it out. And this is what I am talking about. Right here. It needs more so I go ahead and put more in that place I'll do I'll blend this out first and then I'll go in and put more on both sides and I didn't even open the the powder I, I'm gonna drop it all over myself too so there we did the first layer now I'm gonna do another layer but mostly like this exactly where where it needs more which is almost everywhere <laughs> actually 
because it went out so well that you need another ring to get the full coverage. And I didn't say the shade, This the shade that I received was light, light two. That's what it says, light and then the number two. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, but I feel like I blended it out too much right here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more right here and right here. And that's the last time, I swear. Gonna bounce it on there Okay, so now that it looks a little bit better, and you can't really see your dark circles, I guess I am going to try for the very first time. The bag is here because right after this video, I'm gonna film my haul, but I have the NYX Matte Set It, Don't Fret It matte finishing powder and i'm a little scared but I'm, i need to set this concealer i have mentioned it in other videos that this concealer needs to be set it doesn't have a little pull thing though too how do you open this it doesn't have a little pull thing a little cold tab to open it Okay, now that I got my glasses on, maybe I can see. Okay, I found the pull tab. <laughs> Yay, we didn't make a mess. So, we're gonna bake. If the product, if I could get the product out. And I got the shade light medium. I'm so white. <laughs> I need light shades, the lightest shade possible. Okay. So I'm just gonna take the damp beauty blender in there and just place that up some of that on there and this is my very very first time ever setting any concealer. I have to tell you, like I have used concealer in the past, but I've never set it. So I'm just going to let that bake while I 
um, take a brush and set my um, what is the eyeshadow thing, the eyeshadow base. I couldn't think of it. I'm not going to take the white one though because last time it did not look pretty. So I'm just going to take like this nudie skin tone shape that's right here and I am going to set that with it like a, I'm just gonna take it like if it's like if it's an eyeshadow but placing it everywhere an eyeshadow okay so not like if it's an eyeshadow but I use that eyeshadow just to set the wetness of the primer like the eyeshadow base and I don't want to get too much because I think that's what happened last time I might have gotten too much so I've been trying to film this video for possibly two weeks. I have filmed this already five times. And I'm really tired of it because there's some items that I really want to get rid of already. Okay, so after we set that, I'm so excited because I get to use my Morphe brush that we got today for the first time. So um, after we set that, I think I'm going to go in and do the eyelid. And you can't use any brushes with, with the foiled ones, with the shimmery ones. I don't want to use that one. I've been using that every single time we do. I do. I filmed this video. I, well, I used these two the first time, and then I've been using this one. But I think I'm just going to take this one that's right here, like a um, rose tone. Rose tone rose gold kind of shade and put that all over my eyelids and you can't use brushes with the with the shimmery ones really well I've only used like those three and the one for the crease and the white and the one that I just used right now I've only used those and with those three shimmery shades I was not able to use a brush for it so I don't know about the other ones but I can't use a brush for the shimmery shades in this palette <laughs> my nose keeps itching like right where the nostrils are sounds like the kiddos are waking up they had a very, very fun Halloween. Got a lot of candy. Like they filled a basket. Not like each, but they they filled their their basket each halfway. So they filled a full basket of candy. Which is good. It, it's okay. They don't need more candy. They're two and four years old. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do another layer. And I think it's time to sweep the rest of it away, of the bake after this. Okay, so I am going to take for the first time this Morphe... Um, powder brush that I received for the October box and I'm excited so you just sweep the rest of it away mm. I don't know if I should tell you guys what I'm feeling right now, 
or if I should wait into the review, but but I loved it. It made a big difference. If you can tell, I I filmed the video before like with the full face of this box, and I didn't like it. Like I felt like I put on too much concealer, and with the like after I set it, I feel like it looks so beautiful, and it actually matches my skin tone. Like the I felt like I put on too much the fir the first couple of times when I didn't set it and now I like it. I love it. But I do want to try the I do want to try a pressed powder just in those days that I'm feeling lazy and don't want to bake and just put it on there and be done. But I like that. Put it back in the bag because it was supposed to be hauled before it's used. It's okay though. <laughs> I was I actually filmed the haul video yesterday on Halloween and it did not it, my computer acted like the video was not there so now I have to refilm it and hopefully it shows up which is what happened with this video a couple of times as well so that's why we're here again okay so we did that already and now is this no I don't have to use this brush this one. So the Luxie, I'm taking the Luxie 205 Tempered Blending Blush. And I am going to take this brown that's right here, right here, the second color in the last row, and I'm going to put that in my crease. I really just poked my eye. I I really feel like I didn't get all the way. There we go. There was like a little spot that needed eyeshadow on both sides. There we go. It's just so hard to do it with your fingertip. That's why. So I'm just putting some brown that has like a grayish undertone into my crease. And with the matte colors in the palette, you can use a brush like you can tell. And after, I'm so glad my video was not up before because after filming this 50 times, I have a different feeling on this palette. And if you're like me that goes, blends out too much upward, wait, let's blend it a little bit more. But if you're like me that does that, that blends like way too much upward, just take the the tip of your finger and go like this and there you took you took a layer off and it's not all the way up to your to your eyebrow bone get away boy all right and then I am going to take I am going to take this out I think it's called a um, pencil brush, and I am. I'm just gonna take this like goldeny shade that's right here. Why is the door open? The door. The dog's still on the couch, and I'm just gonna highlight that. I that, but I'm just gonna highlight this bone up here. I don't know why the door just creaked a little open. There's no wind today. But it's a little scary. Get away from my makeup. It's 
with y'all. He just bit my my blush brush. Now what am I gonna use? I, the, I need to wash it. All right, but anyways, highlighting that brow bone. My husband just got home. So we're highlighting that brow bone with this. I'm going to take some of that and put, pop it into the inner corner. And then I'm also going to take this brush and get like that goldeny tone that I was putting on my eyelid. It's going to look really light, but I'm just going to sweep some of that under there. See, it's going to look really light since since it doesn't really like to grab onto the brush, the shimmery shade. But I'm just going to add a little bit. lower lash line and also inside my eyes since I accidentally got it in there. So since it doesn't like to grab onto the brush, I did like two coats, but you can't really see it still. I don't know. I can't really see anything since I got eyeshadow on my eye. But okay, so that completes that like the eyeshadow part of the eye. And now we're gonna go in and do the, like um I'm not gonna do winged eyeliner but I'm just gonna put some eyeliner since we have it since we received it in the box and I'm gonna use everything The kiddos are waking up from their nap. I guess that wasn't my husband. I really thought I saw his husband. I really need more practice with eyeliner because I know there's something wrong with it already that will be mentioned in the review. But this eye always looks better than this eye. This eye kind of looks like a straight line. And this one looks like curved. Okay. No, I don't need my glasses. I use everything for my glasses. Now, mascara, but eyeliner, eyeliner first. I am gonna use my NYC uh, Showtime Velvet Eyeliner in the shade Velvet Black, I believe it was. Yes, Black Velvet. Okay. And I'm just going to put that into my waterline. 
they didn't give a like a penciled eyeliner, just a liquid eyeliner. So I'm taking my own and just popping that into the waterline. But who doesn't have a, like a regular black or colored, if you like colored, eyeliner sitting around in their house already to use along with the other products they gave you? So I kind of poked my eye a little bit, but there we go. I got it into the waterline. What a big ass difference that makes. And then now for the mascara. It's the Runaway Lash Instant Volume Mascara by Milani in the shade 106 Black. And I'm just going to quote... I'm just going to, whatever, put it on my top lashes and bottom lashes as well. This one? Nope. So I like to, oops, I forgot that I was going to use the primer. Oh, I've been poking my eye a lot today when doing my makeup, so my eyes are starting to get red. So I'm just going to do one coat, one coat, one coat, one coat, and then my bottom lashes. So two coats on each side. Okay, so we're done with that first quote. Coat. coat. I keep saying quote. Really? And there's the second coat. Is it? I don't know. Mascara? I love how a difference mascara makes it's like like oh you're you're tired and dying just put on some black mascara and black eyeliner in your waterline you'll look woken up a little bit of blush and bronzer and you're it's not like you don't look sick no more okay so we got the top lashes done. Now we're gonna do the bottom ones. My nose started to get runny out of nowhere. Like I got cold. I got cold throughout the video and now my nose is runny. Oh. Being a little too aggressive. All right, so I think that completes the whole eye look that completes the eyes now for the face <laughs> hold up face we got my glasses we need the we need bronzer which i am going to use Finally got it. It was not in my bag because I didn't want to make a big noise with it, but I had to get that that other one that I forgot to take out the powder. But yeah, so we're gonna bronze with this Revolution London Ultra Bronzer, and hopefully we love it as much as we love. So it does have uh, like a kickback 
but I'm not going to waste that product. I am going to put, like, use that for rounding up my head, <laughs> my forehead. But, yeah, oh, I think that's enough product for both sides. So I'm just going to blend that, but I think I'm going to have to need another brush. But I'm going to take that extra powder that kicks off and I'm going to use it on my forehead and right here. And now I'm going to find a brush to blend this. And I think I'm just going to use this powder out brush and just blend this out. I, I used to use this for highlight. I should probably use my mirror since it always looks different on camera. Alright. It looks so much darker on camera than it does in real life. I don't know why. But just blend that out. So I like this bronzer and I, it looks like it's a deeper shade for like deeper toned girls but if you're fair toned you could totally use it. Off like a contour or even bronzer but really blend it out and I like it and first impression well first and second impression since I have used this once already which is why I didn't have to take the sticker off you were probably gonna ask me in the comments but I'm letting you know first impression I like that. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to stick that back in the Ulta bag. And um, what's, what's else? So blush, highlight, and lipstick. Okay, so blush goes first. And I have no idea what brush I'm going to use now since the dog just took a bite of my blush brush. And it's the only one I have. I think I'm just going to use that same powdered brush and I'm just going to use a different brush for the highlight. So I'm going to take this blush and... Excuse me for a second while I go turn off that alarm that I have no idea why it's on. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. I did not want to have that in my video for 10 minutes, so I would rather stand up and get and go turn it off than have it ringing in my background for 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna do the same thing that I always do, which is put it, my apple, and sweep it out. Do you see that color? Oh, I like that combination. Now the husband is home. I have no idea why that alarm is on, though. Okay, so put it on the apple and sweep it out. And we're almost done, you guys. Two more things. So the next product, I'm just going to let you know I don't like it at all. But for the sake of the video, we're going to use it, but on top of it, go over with another highlight. And that is the Dual Highlight by Nika K. I don't like it. I feel like it's chalky and it's not a highlight. I feel like you could use this as a powder. But I'm going to use like the this shade over here, like the pinkish one. 
and I need to take my glasses off for that. And I'm going to use the Coastal Scents, like the bristle brush. And I'm just going to, you see, it kind of looks, it doesn't shine. It kind of, I just needed to show you guys. But I don't like it. It kind of looks like I just added more powder to my face. So we're not going to be using that. And we are going to use the Baked Highlight by Dirty Little Secret in the shade Sun Kiss that we received in our Lip Monthly bag for October. Uh, I kind of, I, I don't. I like this blush uh, highlight. I've used it, but I don't like it on top of that one. So I don't even think you could use it like as a powder. So I did, I think I did three layers on this side, so I'm going to do three layers on this side too. And the nose and right here. So I do... And sometimes I even just go like this, <laughs> where the bronzer is, just to give it a little bit of shine. But I love this. I love this dirty little secret highlight that I received recently. Oh man, I'm being so nasty, like I just randomly got a random no nose. And I'm like cleaning it off of my hands. So the last thing, the Ruth lipstick, we're going to pop this on to complete the look. This flash trying to get in my ear or something. Okay. So that completes the look. And now it's time for the review. Oh my gosh, are you as excited as I am? But this is the look that came with the box. Oops. That is why I don't like the eyeliner. And let's start out with the eyeliner. Okay, since it just pissed me off even more than it, it was. So the eyeliner. I wouldn't buy this. I've heard that Jordana is a good brand, but this one, it says it's black, but it's not black enough. Like it, it's kind of see-through. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of see-through. And then it does that, that it like transfers over to places. I've used this and have had it in the night all over my concealer and none on my eyelids so it comes from down he up here all the way down here. I just don't like it and I don't know how much this retails for but I, I, I hope nobody buys this. It's the Jordana Fabu liner, liner, okay? It looks like this. Just warning you, don't buy this. 
All right, and then the mascara, I like for my bottom lashes, but not for the top ones. And the top ones, it does like this little thing, like the fiber lashes, that there's like little d dots of mascara everywhere on your eyes, like sand size. And later on in the nighttime, like after you have it on for a couple hours, it gets in your eyes. I have had it, like I'm like, I'm just standing there randomly like, what the heck, something got in my eye. And it was the mascara, of course, because you, I touched my lashes. And it is on like little, little sand sized grains. And I just don't like it for the top ones, but I like it for the bottom ones I've had no trouble with it on my bottom lashes <laughs> sorry so that's the mascara the beauty blender I love I forgot what brand it was from I probably should have written it down I like it a lot though it's really really bouncy and blends it out well and sets, bakes well as well, helps you bake it well. I like it. I like it a lot. I really forgot what brand it was though, but my unboxing video is going to be listed, linked down below. And it's, if you see me, on, I think it's like the first product I, I unboxed. And, um, and I, I liked it. It's going to tell you the brand of the name in there. The lipstick, I like. This is only my second time using it, but I like the lipstick. I am a person that prefers liquid lipsticks, but for a lipstick, I like. I just prefer liquid lipsticks because they're easier to put on your lips than lipsticks are, but I like it. It, it stays on good. I think it does transfer. But I like I like it and I like the shade as well. I like it. The concealer that I got in the Itsy bag. I like it, but I don't like it. Like it's it it it's full coverage when you pack it on, but maybe because I wasn't using it with the powder, it it would like it would kinda disappear in the night like fade away and start showing your dark circles again I will let you know though in another video what I think about it after now that I set it with a powder but without powder without powder it's not good at all okay three more things you already know I don't like this if you see this don't buy it it's chalky and it's not shiny like a highlight the blush Shh, mama Come here. The blush, I love it. Come here. I was going to purchase this because I saw Kathleen Light talk about it in one of her videos. I, I think like a YouTube made me buy it or or maybe a monthly favorites video. And, she, and I was going to try it because she said she loves it. And I absolutely love it as well. I like it for the fall. It's like a nudie nudie peachy color that I like for the fall time I like it yeah, I probably would even use it even if it's not fall because it's just the type of colors that I like that they're not pink that you look like a clown okay so the last thing the eyeshadow palette I I was saying that I did not like it when I was filming for the first couple of times. But now that I'm played with it like 10 times, I, I like it. I just don't like the foiled ones that you have to put on with your fingers. But I have seen even high-end palettes that have foiled colors that you have to pack on with your fingers. So I like it and I I probably will be reusing this because it's the colors that I use all the time. The gold, the rose gold, another gold, another gold. I just don't like the grays. But I like it now. So I'm going to be reusing this. A lot, most likely. 
just I just don't really like the white because I did film a video and set the base with that white and the colors were not showing up the eyeshadow colors were not showing up on my eyelids anymore because of the white but yeah the powder my first impression is that I like it and the bronzer also my first impression is that I like it as well, but if you're fair toned like me, you're going to want to um, really take a clean brush and blend it out because it's a little bit too dark for our fair toned ladies out there like myself, but I still like it. I, I, it's, it's probably like a dupe for the one of the Too Faced darker shades of their their bronzers like the chocolate the dark chocolate it's probably going to be a dupe for that one because it's like dark and it's matte it doesn't have a shimmer which is the type of bronzers that I like the ones that are just like a plain brown plain like a plain warm brown but doesn't have like a golden shimmery undertone those are the type of bronzers I like. And yeah. So that is going to be it for this video. And it is my first ever tutorial slash review video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't feel like giving me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments down below if you liked it. And if I should do more of these videos, which I'm probably going to be doing the Sweet Sparkle review slash tutorial every month that I receive the box so just letting you know but that's going to be it if you're not already please follow me on social media I use Facebook and snapchat and they're both going to be linked and my name my snapchat name will be in the description box down below along with the name of every single product that I use they will be down in the description box down below as well. And that is going to be it for this video. I'm probably going to put down next to it whether I liked it or not as well. Because that was the point of the video. But that's going to be it for the video. And I'm going to possibly film my haul now. And I'll see you guys in another video really soon. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.